chocolate cake is gross. I mean, that's cool though. Like that's um, that's a unique opinion. And I appreciate that. You're fine to be your own individual. That's awesome. Also, clearly, I have no idea where I'm going. You'd be sad if someone gave that to you. Dang, that's that's rough. Um. Okay, I know the first eight tens exist somewhere, and I'm gonna find them if it's the last thing I do. And that's fine. Chocolate cake. That's wow. Truly amazing. I mean, you learn something new every day. Like you've probably been the person who surprised me the most so far today. Not liking chocolate cake, huh? I mean, if you don't like chocolate, that, that, that makes a lot of sense. Like, it, logically speaking, it makes sense. See, whereas, like, for me, if you gave me, like, a nice strawberry rhubarb pie, oh, my goodness. Oh, I'd be so into that. But that's just the other thing, too. Like, a, um, a chocolate cake is good. Like, I would eat that. But, um, a strawberry rhubarb pie, oh, my goodness, I would prefer that. Because the other thing, too, is I think as far as, um, cakes are concerned... Um, or sorry, cake and ice cream. Sorry, cake and pie. Oh my goodness, words are hard. Is that I think pie goes better with ice cream than cake does. Because I don't like how you can mix the texture of cake with ice cream. I don't think it's a good mix. Whereas like pie and ice cream, I think it goes together beautifully. Beautifully. 100%. Only really chocolate cake is like, it's lava cake because vanilla ice cream. See, and that's interesting because for me, for a lava cake, I would rather eat the lava cake with no ice cream because I don't like it when my ice cream melts. That bothers me on a deep and personal level. If someone offered me like some melting ice cream, I'd be like, ouch, like you have insulted my family heritage and I don't even have a family heritage. Okay, so I think we can go to the schoolhouse. Medical station, this is what we we're looking for. Hello, sir. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patience to tend to. Whereas, like, and I know, and that's the thing. I know a lot of people like ice cream with their lava cake, and that's completely fine. But for me, I would just like, nah. I would rather just eat the lava cake, no ice cream. I would still happily eat the lava cake, but I just, I wouldn't put ice cream on there. How many ways for make looking for ways to make myself useful? I have three patients here who were gravely injured. Oh, giant ants! Giant yes. ants in the generator building a few days ago. Is that I've like is lava cake? Honestly, your favorite they're cake? in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Medicine forty. I have some medical knowledge. Let's see what I can do. If what you say is true, hmm. you can do us a world of good. That's amazing. And I think for the record, most people I've talked to, they've said they're more of a um, pie person than a cake person. Treating infection. That was some fine doctor. I yeah, so I think we have a hundred medicine, so we should be fine. Um... You brought him around. All right, let's treat you as well. Idolize. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. You're well. Can I steal your loot box? No, your first A box. Sorry. If I haven't said it before, outsider, let me say it now. Welcome to Nellis. Oh yes. The word from Pearl is that you are to be greeted as a friend. You don't do that. I have a lot of cake and then I have served the ice cream separate. Oh, so it doesn't help. Oh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> You're a visionary! Having both the cake and the ice cream in separate dishes. See, okay, the problem is with me doing that. It seems like I'd be facetious. Like, oh, I'm trying to be insulting. And it's like, no! I was trying to have fun, but no! I, I mean, the good thing is, like, you can see you can see my face. So maybe you can see the guilt that I have. It's not really guilt, though. We're being, like, I, I'm, I'm too far silly right now. Where's my text to that? Oh my goodness, that could be bad. I can like, send the message and be like, ha ha ha, you're a visionary. He's like, oh, this man's being sarcastic. And then you do like the verbal slap, just bam. That was really bad. I meant to do kind of like this. Ah, I don't want to slap myself though, because pain, but we should slap ourselves from this side. Ah, it wasn't a very effective slap. See, we're trying to perform right now, but we're doing really poorly. We're rolling poorly on my charisma check. Um, if it's treating your patients. Those men owe you their lives. Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages. Savages? Ouch. Medicine, at least. He's any medical supplies? You've done right by us. We recently started making our own stim packs, but we just... 
Are you kidding me? I want all the sin packs that we have. Also, we're going to sell you some of our Legion armor too because we don't want it. Uh, where are we? We sold out for like next to nothing. That kind of sucks. Oh my goodness. He has 12 stim packs. I want them all. We're going to need all these if we can go to the divide. And right away. We'll take those two. Thanks. I really love the decorations you do with cake. Like the one time a white chocolate leaves and pour hot. Oh, it's dark chocolate. Oh my goodness. And leaves fall apart so you can do whatever. Ah! You're such a talented baker. Don't. Oh my goodness. Like, man, I wish I could do that. I see. Oh my. Like, I'm still like following around with cookies. I'm like, haha, I made a cookie. And like, you're here like, yes, I've literally created art with my stuff. I'm like, ah, oh, man. I bet though, like, with baking, you can do so much with it. Like, presentations, like, everything. What are you guys up to? What's up, Lindsay? Hey there, mister. Can you help me find Mr. Cuddles? You bet. Who is Mr. Cuddles? Mr. Cuddles is my teddy. I lost him, and I don't remember where. All right, I'll look for him. Thanks. Let me know when you find him. No added, Mr. Cuddles. Well, I mean, let's get this note then. Mr. Cuddles. One of the last saber and she's in service. Okay, well, that doesn't really tell me a whole lot. Yeah, dude, I bet. See, and that's just it. Like, I'm not at the point where I'm good at presenting foods. But, like, especially with cake. Oh, my goodness. Um, return to Pearl. I want to talk to this kid, though. There's uh, He has a, uh, like, a history wall or something. I want to do that. Like, I mean, just basically like what you said alone on the, the lava cake. That's already pretty impressive. Ah, my ear. Ah, the headset. I need a new headset. This is crushing my ears. That's Loyal's house. Uh, Nellis workshop. I don't think there's anything we can do in there, but we'll go check anyways. It, because, like, not only can like, you do pres presentation baking, but I think also, too, for, um... Well, just cooking in general. Like, I think cooking and baking, there's a lot more. That's why it bothers me when someone go visit people my age and they kind of me and play food that looks like poop, but you don't want to eat it, but you don't want to be... Well, and that's just it, too. Like, what? we got to talk to Pete. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you've um, been by. You oh, man, these hands are blowing my face. I have pretty little standards when it comes to, like, eating food. Like, I've made some really disgusting-looking food that I, I've been happy to eat. But that being said, like, cooking for myself is different for cooking for others. Like, I've actually had that happen, too, where, like, I made a pizza for somebody. And, like, I wasn't satisfied with quite how the pizza looked, and I was a little bit self-conscious about it. And actually, at that point, I realized, like, oh, I, I feel really self-conscious about making food for others. Um, because, like, at that point, the presentation is, like, important. Like, you want to make sure that like, it seems like you can cook good food. Whereas you're by yourself, like, it doesn't really matter. But having the skills to make something look tasty, I think, is goes a long ways. I like to know all about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? I think I've been, like, lucky, though, because for the most part, like, my, my friends are actually pretty decent cooks. Like, I'm not going to say, like, they're, like, famous chefs or anything, but they're at the point where, like, they can make me something, and I'm like, oh, I'll happily eat this. But, like, I think, again, like, I just I have low standards when it comes to presentation. Because for me, it's like, I want to eat the food, and I want to be tasty, and I want it to fill me up. Um... Uh, Excellent. But I think also too, like for my family, like, outsider to ever hear our tale. like while I recognize that presentation of food is important, we've never put too much value on it in my family. It's different when we make food for others because people don't know what you will make, and it's a dumb mess. They'll be reluctant. Oh, absolutely. Uh, like one time I made a um. I made kind of like this weird like turkey dinner stuff, and I put like gravy in it. And like it looked like brown slop, and so it looked it, it looked like a dog's breakfast, but tasted amazing. But like I also can eat it because like it was like I know I was making it just for me. But if I were to like offer that up to someone, they'd be like looking at it like, oh, like that doesn't that doesn't look that good. Or as you make something like appetizing, yeah, they're gonna want to get into it. All right, kid, give me your history lesson. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. A caravan well, of two now. Until... But... 
Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage. <laughs> Poor Pete tripping over his words. Nellis has revealed many secrets. One thing I will say too about like Aya's presentation is that uh, from my experience, my limited experience, I don't have your experience for like cooking cakes and stuff. And you seem like quite the talented cook. Like I'm just based on everything you said. Um, I've uh, I've made cookies before and I've I, I slightly burnt the bottoms. And if you have cookies that have like slightly that look slightly burnt, people have much less interest in eating them unless they're like unless they're starving. Like if you're hungry, you'll eat anything. Now that you know the story of Um Questions about your PLS history. Leave the city in the vault. So you know in our vault. I guess all the little hmm. And at Nellis and it Uh I'm surprised Nellis was only when your people found it. Several auto the savages That's exactly right. Yes, You're give me all the knowledge checks. For a sav. Anything else? How did you survive so come from Now this is completely self-sufficient. Indeed we do. Very There you go. I'm impressing this kid. How did Hollowitz just doing the Air Force Base? You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the... It took many weeks to drag the gun. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. There you go. Pete's gonna love us. Um... How has Nellis taught you people to fly? Once we restore power, we learn. We believe they were used to. Before you ask. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. Anything. Uh. Would you like to find an old bomber? Loyal found a file some. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th. The photograph shows that it was basically intact. Yes. In fact, that's exactly okay, what so I guess we're going to talk to Loyal again. Do. You, I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you. Um, who needs help around here? Over at the workshop. Goodbye. I remember the time I thought this girl, uh, this girl went to her house and she offered me ugly mac and cheese. Uncooked rice and sausage. And I don't know why someone would plate mac and cheese in the first place. And then I just don't like sausage. Oh, plate rice with mac and cheese. All right, here is the official opinion from me. Um, so if someone cooked rice and had like mac and cheese and they played it together, I don't think I'd think twice about it. Like for me, mac and cheese being played with rice doesn't feel weird to me. Like I'm like, like unusual in the sense like I wouldn't have thought to do that, I don't think. But like, if someone told me to do it, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Like it doesn't, I don't have enough food culture to, um, we want to talk to Loyal. Hold on. We'll go to the hangers. Um, we're gonna try to find Loyal, if we can. Yeah, I don't have enough food savviness to say you can't plate these things together. And, like, frankly, for me, like, it's all gonna end up in the same place anyway, so I don't, I'm not too invested. Though, that being said, having uncooked sausage that's actually bad because like it's like offering someone uncooked food oh that'd be terrible Dude, why would you want to do that that's oh my goodness that's ah! that's cringe i don't know i think rice with chicken beef broccoli and such no and and like that's just, just it like when you think rice like absolutely like, chicken and rice uh that makes much more sense than macaroni and cheese like i don't want to say that like macaroni and cheese is like you know a bread and butter com combination but if i was offered that at a house i'd be like okay yeah like maybe a bit unusual but i'm not good work with those i mean if it's good macaroni and cheese and good rice like i'm just gonna eat it um no well hmm. if you genuinely care so much their flight sim goodbye all right so we already talked to him so let's just i guess talk to parole then mclafferty's been riding asses again Better lay low. And I, again, for the record, I do think that there are better. Like, there's combinations of rice that I, I'm more likely to think of than like macaroni and cheese. But I get, again, this is a very long-winded explanation. Of me just saying, I for me, it didn't matter too much. But, like, I, I'm much more appalled by the uncooked sausage. Like, man, oh my goodness, that'd be so scary if you offered someone like uncooked food. Ah, like, 
And again, like if I'm cooking for myself and I 